Hi everybody. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick gold review um, for trading for the next week or so. Um, you can see that we've been down for quite a number of weeks, um, actually quite a number of months. Um, and basically um, it looks like it's just been getting worse. So um, there has been a little bit, a couple relief rallies um, in the past few months. You can see there was just this main one right here. Uh, starting around uh, July um, and then uh, kind of a secondary relief rally just recently but it didn't really uh, gain much traction um, you can see on the daily chart um, that we're still kind of in negative territory we kind of had that um, couple different it's a little more visible the, the relief rally that we saw uh, back in July um, you can see we were kind of at a pretty big low um, and went up um, number of points here so a lot of people basically were arguing that um gold price was too low um until uh basically the start of this month um and then things have kind of fallen apart and now most people i think agree that the price still needs to drop a little bit lower um and that's basically what's been happening in the market here so you see the force of these moves has basically been increasing um ever since about uh uh, September. So they're basically the volatility is quite strong right now. Um, over the month, um, you can see we're kind of hitting these ranges. Um, and that's maybe likely to uh, continue. Um, but this current downtrend right here uh, was quite significant. Um, and that basically suggests that maybe um, we could go even lower. Um, although you do see a little bit of a turning around point here. Um, so on the RSI, there isn't a whole lot lower that we could go. Um, maybe into the next week uh, would be the lowest that we could get, um, at least after uh, presuming maybe another bounce here. So this is a kind of an interesting level. We could kind of short down to this point and then um, maybe expect some type of bounce uh, on the 19th or 20th. You see the volatility um, is kind of calming down a little bit. Um, so it's likely that we won't see huge moves um, as we approach this. So the volatility is kind of dropping as we get closer to this um, level of support of about 1639. So in terms of trending, um, you can see with the rune oscillator that we are kind of uh, even slightly on a positive streak still. Um, but these new lows um, coming in, um, it's likely that we're going to see um, maybe a downward trend at least uh, in the immediate future like next uh, few days or so so you can see on the volume here that we have quite a number of days of negative volume um and you know how far that can continue is uh, definitely a concern so we're seeing you know 1631 uh, kind of as a lower level support here so it's possible we could hit that um, and bounce from there so you can see on the price of gold here over uh, the years um, that basically, um, you know, we are kind of still at a high point here. Um, now, how far we might drop. So we're kind of at this um, really important level of support and, uh, you know, around uh, 1686 or so. So and we're even below that right now. So basically, um, you know, the absolute lowest that we could maybe go in the near future would be the 1266 mark. You can see that um, was fairly recently. Uh, back in 2019, we kind of climbed up quite a lot. Um, so it's, uh, but that takes years to get to these uh, points. And the MACD gives a pretty good idea of what's been happening over um, the past year or so. So you can kind of see that we've been hitting all these new lows um, pretty often um, and then not really hitting too much highs except for maybe back in here where we hit kind of a, a really high high. So there's basically with that exception and maybe this exception back here, um, you know, most of these new highs, you can kind of see the low um, being quite significantly lower. Uh, just on the on the daily chart. So also you can see, um, you know, some of the news here, gold uh, worst week in two months uh, as dollar rises. So basically as the dollar is rising um, in value, uh, price of gold has been dropping um, incidentally. I thought this graph was kind of interesting. You can see um, that the gold is basically heading east into uh, China and India actually, and even Turkey.
and Thailand. So the um, United States actually losing a lot of that gold. Uh, and uh, just interesting to see. This is um, data shown from uh, Switzerland from May to August. You can see on the MACD line that basically the price of the gold is dropping uh, even despite uh, these moves uh, into the east. Um, so you can kind of see that both the signal line here has curved around. If you zoom in here, you can kind of see it's starting to head back down again. Um, and then also the MACD line is also dropping significantly. And again, according to RSI, we still have um, quite a number of days until um, we hit a low point here for a potential bounce. So um, it looks like we're just going to keep heading down here, um, at least for the next few days. Um, and then basically what happens around the 24th uh, to the 19th <laughs> will determine a lot. And you can kind of see here um, that the price um, has kind of uh, slightly reverted. We kind of have a level um, that's been decided by the price volume at about 16.75. Um, so that um, that level up in here um, was kind of determined back in September um, and then partially here in October. So we kind of dropped below that level. Um, potentially uh, heading up again to that level, but um, even going down further, um, even into the 1629 level um, more recently. So you can see um, this drop happened even after that level, and that's kind of what happened here. We kind of broke that level right here once, and then we broke it a second time. Um, and then we may not even return, uh, depending on how high we get um, recently on this bounce. So you can see pretty repeatedly we've been making new lows um, on the stochastic um, and not really making the new highs uh, that often. So um, it's basically was back, uh, you know, early October that we saw those highs. And then ever since about October 6th, um, things kind of fell apart, um, especially you see down here and then they started to really fall apart um, on the 9th. So basically um, that those days kind of really determined a lot of things. Um, you can still see the price level showing up here, uh, 1675, um, but we're kind of dropping uh, from that. So there might be some buy opportunity, at least in the short term um, here. You can see that um, we are pretty far below VWAP. Um, and the MACD is kind of uh, increasing back to zero land. So there's a possibility, um, you know, somewhere in here that we could still see an uptrend, uh, at least in the temporary uh, short term future. So looking at the volume here in the short term, you can kind of see um, we did have a pretty good spike uh, back here um, right at the end of September. Uh, so that was pretty significant. Um, and that was right around the price range up this lower price range that we saw of 16.29. So um, it's possible that, um, you know, the volume is starting to get a little bit possibly to see some negative volume right in here, um, but uh, it's heading back into a positive land. So it's possible that um, we could see another spike of positive volume. Um, and the good news is that this these positive spikes um, were quite larger than the negative spikes. So the only negative spike that we had uh, was the one right here recently, um, and that was uh, maybe CPI numbers. Um, the numbers really dropped here on the gold price of gold for some reason. So I don't have a whole lot more to say about volume. Um, there was a big spike back here um, that was actually even bigger than the spike we saw here, but this was more continuous, um, solid green. Um, so we did see also another big continuous one here. Um, maybe not quite as high as that last peak, but um, in general, this has kind of been bad because we see this negative peaks kind of accelerating here and then maybe dropping, but then more solid uh, down here. So um, that'll be interesting to see, um, you know, if we hit um, more of this downtrend like we saw uh, back in the uh, you know first or second week of October. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review of the price of gold. Um, just the recent uh, couple weeks and months here um, that we've reviewed. Um, hopefully, um, it looks like the price could be going up in the temporary short term. Um, maybe we'll continue going down a little bit in the next couple weeks, but we'll have to see what really happens. 
Uh, if you like the conversation here, um, please try to like and subscribe. Let me know um, what you think. Uh, if there's certain details you'd like me to cover more next time, I'd be glad to take a look at those uh, in more detail. Thank you so much. Um, hope to hear from you. See you.